Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about Bitcoin mining. We're gonna be looking at S19 Pro. It produces 111 terahashes, even though they sell at 110, it actually does 111. Watt usage is 30 to 50. We have around six cents electricity. Our mining pool fee is zero because we have a special agreement with Ant Pool. So we're gonna be talking about how much money you make on mining as of today. This is September 22nd, 2022. Also talking about the hash rate, talking about a strategy, plan, all that stuff to make sure that everything is working just fine, everything's going good, you're getting that ROI, and the investment that you initially uh, invested into Bitcoin mining is being paid back or paid off, and then you can continue to just make straight profits. So if you think that's interesting, you know what to do. Hit, first, hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and go to CryptoLLC.org if you want to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm. Right now is the best time to jump in. Prices are really down, especially for GPUs. Prices for GPUs were you like $800 MSRP. And then when uh, Ethereum mining was still going good, the cards were like $1,200. But right now you can get used cards at like $300. So right now a lot of miners are dumping their cards because they were mining in very high electricity areas, such as Europe, when they're paying like $0.25 cents a kilowatt hour. So it's a great time to jump in to buy their mining gear and set up a nice, very affordable farm. So go to CryptoLLC.org or if you want to buy a used car, uh, new cards, we also sell new cards as well. Um, we also have ASIC mining. We can set that up for you. So any of those uh, plans that you were thinking about doing, uh, you were kind of holding off on pulling the trigger on setting up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, right now is, is the absolute best time to jump in. So don't miss the opportunity. Before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth and Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, so today's video, again, we're talking about Bitcoin mining. I pulled up a calculator, it's from coinwars.com. So you can go to that website yourself, plug in these numbers and do your own calculations if you wanted to actually see. Because who knows, this, you know, this video comes out and a couple days later the hash rate changes, the uh, price changes, like right now it's 19,347 right here. So that, that can change, that can go to 25K very easily or it can go down to you know, 15K very easily. So everything changes, but we're just gonna be basing it off of what is the, what is the profitability as of right now. So again, recap, we're, we are doing an S19 Pro. So it's 110, but in reality it's 111. We know that from firsthand experience because we're running more than uh, 400 of these miners. Power consumption is 30 to 50. That is an actual number. That is not like what Bitmain says it is. That is what it is because we tested it on more than 10 miners at different times of the day at nice cold temperatures running S19 Pros with good ventilation. Everything was set up perfectly and the average was 3250. So that's how much they use. In terms of electricity, our electricity is 5.9, but when I plug it into this calculator, it just averages it to six. So we'll just keep it at six. Pool is zero because we have a special agreement with amp pools. So that's one of the things that we bring to our clients is a lot of times a client wants to set up a farm um, and amp pool will, or other pools will want like one, two, three percent. Uh, we have a special agreement because of our big volume that we do that we have zero percent pool fee. So you'll, you'll save a whole entire one, two or three percent on the pool fee. All right, so what are we getting? We're mining eight dollars and forty cents. That's at current prices. That's nineteen thousand three hundred six. So $8.41, electricity cost is $4.68, and then our income after the electricity is $3.73. Now, let me put it in the calculator. I'm gonna use my phone here. So 3.73 times 30 days times, or actually, let me just go times 365. So it gave me $1,361. So if the Bitcoin price did not change, so for a whole year, it was $19,306, the hash rate did not change, it would never went down or up, you would make exactly $1,361 in a year. So if you buy an S19 Pro as of today, they cost about $3,000, maybe a little cheaper. So it'll take you about two years to pay off that miner. So you start mining on, it'll take you two years, you'll pay off that miner. So the ROI is okay-ish, right? It's, it can be a lot better, but <clears throat> What we're going to be talking about is talking about the strategies that you can have to make that extra amount of money, to have that extra money. So one of the strategies we advise our clients to do is if you're, if you are coming in and you have like, let's say 500,000 or a million dollars and you built yourself, you know, one container. So you have 300 miners, you got a good price on them. You plug them in. 
if you do not need to withdraw your money, right, which means that you, you, you don't need to use the money for living expenses. You don't need to use, well, I'm talking about the Bitcoin itself. You, you don't need the Bitcoin. You don't need to sell the Bitcoin. You're just keeping it. What we recommend our clients to do is to keep it until Bitcoin hits a pretty solid price where you're comfortable at selling it. Um, so if you want to keep it, so right now it's at 19.3, we recommend our clients do not sell your Bitcoins at 19.3 um, because there's a very good chance that in six months or a year that this can easily become 40,000, right? And so if you think about it, 40,000, you're getting Bitcoins right here, right? And the higher the price goes up, the less electricity makes a difference. You know what I mean? So as the higher the Bitcoin price, this is not like a linear line. Electricity price is capped. This is what you're going to pay. Let me get rid of that highlight. This is what you're going to pay, 468 forever, right? You'll always pay 468. You'll never pay less or more than 468 per miner, ever. So... That means that whatever the whenever the price goes up on Bitcoin, that's pure profit, right? Because your expenses are here. This is your expense, 468. It'll never go higher than that. So that means that as the price of Bitcoin goes up, you are exponentially making more money, right? You are just going way up and this will turn really, really fast into a lot higher numbers um, than, uh, than you might think, oh, well, if Bitcoin goes from 20 or from 19.3, it goes to uh, 25,000. It's not big of a difference. It is a big difference because this will go really high, you know, because again, your expenses are this. It's not going to change. So your expenses stay the same. That's one of the great things about Bitcoin mining is your expenses always stay the same. You found a nice, good place to set up your farm where we are located. I'm not going to disclose where that is, but where we are located, um, we have nice, good prices here. Uh, again, 5.9 5 cents is the average. Our base price is 4.2, and then our peak is about 7, so when you average it out, it's 5.9. And uh, we're currently looking around some other properties around here that actually have, on a whole, about 1.5 to 2 cents less. So now we're talking a base price of 3, and the peak price of 6, and then your average would be like 4.5. So we're going down even less on electricity. Let me show you what that is. Let's go to, uh, hopefully it does um, like this, 4.5. Let's see if it does that. See, it just averages to five. Um, so if you average it to five, you see how it barely increased because electricity, the electricity is not really the cause of expenses, right? If I go to four cents and I calculate that, you see how this barely went up because what's actually playing that huge role on income is the Bitcoin price. That's what's making the change here. That's what's having that huge impact. Let me change it back to six, 3.73. Um, so what we recommend is do not sell hold and as you hold, you'll make a lot more money. So we recommend them, if you don't need that money, if you're not living off of that money, and this is just another secondary investment, you have other investments, you have an investment in maybe real estate, in bonds, in some kind of securities or whatever it is, and uh, you wanted to divert some of that to a Bitcoin mining farm, do not sell that Bitcoin. Just hold on to it, price will most likely go up. Even if it takes six months, it takes a year, whatever it is, hold off onto it. You can subsidize electricity costs with your other businesses that you're running. Uh, that's what we, we, would, we would advise. You can subsidize that and then hold off until Bitcoin goes back up to a good comfortable number, which, which again, if you look at the graph of Bitcoin price, Bitcoin can easily go back to 60,000. But if you went to 40,000 and you sold 20, 30% of your, of your uh, Bitcoins to kind of pay off um, all the electricity that you were subsidizing, that'd be a plan to do. So that's, how, that's kind of one of, one, of, one of our strategies here. We recommend, again, um, and that's just for those miners out there that do not need to sell. They don't want, they don't live off of their Bitcoins, right? They just hold them. So here's some more information here. Bitcoin mining profit margins, your estimated mining rewards. Um, again, this is what you want to use in your calculations. Bitcoin mine per day. This is what you want to use. You can times that by how many miners you have. Then you know how much Bitcoin you're getting. Then you can times that by uh, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, and so on. And you'll actually have a more, more, uh, accurate representation of your future profits bitcoin mining investment and all that other stuff this is not correct this the, the miner does not cost 48.28 um, it costs about 3,000, maybe 2800 bucks um, <clears throat> and so on again all this changes because all of this is dependent on the hash rate so let's go take a look at the hash rate let me load that up here so this is the bitcoin hash rate chart and we're going back from 2010 12 14 16 18 20 22 let me actually zoom in a little bit. Let me go back to, oh, oops, 
uh, sorry, I actually stretched this out to go back to 2010. It's actually 2010 is all the way back here. But let me kind of zoom in here from uh, past two years, to give you an idea. So Bitcoin hash rate was 85 at the hashes, slowly went up, 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 up. And then it crashed here in 2021. You remember what that was? That was that whole Corona thing. Uh, or was it? Or was it the other crash? There was a huge Corona crash that happened. Uh, it was 2020 March is when it happened. 2020. I think this is where it is probably. But there was a crash in Bitcoin price, which had a big crash on the hash rate. But you can see that that is typical. You know, you can see that huge crash right here. Bam, crashed came back up. So in this time frame, from here, if you look at my mouse, from here, February 16th, 2021, right? Or like April, let's say April 2021, until here, December 2021. So that's more than six months. So for more than six months, you were actually getting more Bitcoin because you can see the hash rate only caught up to this peak here. But this is a six month difference right here. So as the price crashed, if you had miners mining, you actually made more Bitcoin and all you had to do was hold on to it and then sell as the price increased. And, the pri and how do I know the price is increasing here is because as the hash rate goes up, it gives you a signification that you're, a lot of miners are going back into profit. And the reason why they're going back into profit is because the price is going up. The price is going up as well as the hash rate is, uh, was down. So this is where you can make that huge amount of money and then sell at uh, sometime in the future when the Bitcoin price is at, you know, whatever it is, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, so on. So that's the hash rate. So as of right now, if I zoom in some more, the hash rate is, let's see, September 22nd is two, 221 at the hash, right? And you can see it's slowly going up and it kind of stabilized here, stabilized here, a little bit peaks, jumping, jumping, but not really, it's kind of stabilizing because the Bitcoin price is down. It's again, it's at 19,289, right? 19,000, low 19,000s. Because of that, it's having an impact on S9 miners and other very, very old miners. Let me give you a, a picture of that. So as the price increases, the Bitcoin hash rate increases. And of course, new Bitcoin miners are coming out that run faster and more efficiently. You're killing off old miners. Let me give you an idea what that is. So for an S9, they do 14 tire hashes and they consume about 1400 watts. Let's calculate that, right? So if you are running an S9, which was made, I think in 2016, so it's like a six year old uh, mining or a six, six year old miner, you are negative. 96 cents a day so it's a buck a day so about 30 dollars negative so all the s9 miners they're toast right they, they can't mine at this they have to go down to a lower electricity cost you see how that i change it to five cents i'm still negative right because for s9s they're so slow and they're so old that even when i increase it to four cents you're still not profitable right the only way you can run these s9s is if you go to three cents now who has three cents like barely anyone has three cents on the whole planet that's basically impossible to get but as you saw it took me all the way to three cents just to get positive on an s9 because that's how much of a piece of junk an s9 is right it's so old it's such a piece of junk right it's mined so slow 14 tera hashes at 1400 maybe even 1500 watts um, that it's not profitable so as the hash rate increases and the Bitcoin price does not go up so fast or as fast as the hash rate, you are killing off your competition. All the competition is going to be just unplugging their miners because they are not profitable. And that would explain this weird jumpiness where it kind of jumps down, comes back up, jumps down, jumps down, because there's some miner plugging in some XPs, plugging in some S19 Pros, plugging in some S19s, S17 Plus, all that stuff. And then there's guys that are running S9s, S7s that are just unplugging them because they're, they, they are not profitable. So this all plays a role and that's why we advise our investors to keep an eye on that. We tell them, hey, do not sell here, right? Wait, hold on, you can sell for a better price in the near future. So that's our strategy. That's how we uh, advise our investors. Of course, it's up to them, it's their money. They can do what they want with it. If they wanna sell it all at 19.3, go ahead. I mean, it's still profitable. You're still at, um, what was it? $3.50 or something like that. Right, they're still profitable. They're still they can still uh, get their ROI in two years, so that's still fine. 
but they can they can turn that ROI from two years to one year or from one year to eight months rather than waiting two years they can do it in eight months if they just play this correctly well that's going to be it for this video hope you guys like it um, make sure you guys leave a comment if you are have some more information you want to share or you had some questions uh, leave a comment uh, talk about your guys' uh, mining rigs. Maybe some of you guys are running some What's Miner. We, we don't run What's Miner, but if you are, um, you know, leave some comments talking about it, how good it runs, uh, you know, if it's, if it's better than S19 Pros, because we have really good experience of S19's uh, series, the S19 Pro and the S19J Pro. We run both of these guys, and they are great miners. But uh, share your experience, share your strategy. What do you guys do? Do you guys hold on to Bitcoin? You know, what, what price point would you sell the Bitcoin at? Uh, would you sell it at 30? Would you sell it at 40,000? Would you sell it at 50,000? Or are you one of those uh, diamond hand Bitcoin holders that's just going to hold on to it until it reaches 100,000? Whatever it is, you know, make sure you guys leave a comment. That's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys liked the video. Like, subscribe with the bell. And that's, that's going to be all. Till next time. Bye.